Hey, how are you? Well, today we're going to go outside and take a look at the beehive, but to tie this together with a Sunday morning art video, I, I thought I'd mention the whole reason why I became interested in bees and beeswax is really because of encaustic. Encaustic is an art medium that's made primarily of beeswax, and the artist Jasper Johns made this medium famous in the 50s with his paintings of targets and the American flag. So if you don't know those, uh, those images, Google Jasper Johns Target American Flag. It's definitely worth checking out. Uh, this painting behind me is an encaustic painting and there's all kinds of cool things that you can do with encaustic and we'll talk more about that throughout the year. But uh, today let's just go out and take a look at the hive. Now one of the first things I've realized about the bees is they're really pretty docile and I often don't put the bee suit on or anything uh, I will put it on later because I'm going to open the lid up and, and take out some of the top bars and we're actually going to look for the queen. But uh, yeah, they seem really pretty mellow. Uh, so far so good, I haven't been stung. This is a new addition since I first built the hive and all it is is a stop block. So when I open the roof on these hinges, the roof rests on this stop block. And this is the bee feeding design that I got from Philip Chandler online. And, you know, they really don't eat that much of the sugar syrup. They did in the beginning, but they're not eating that much now. And I think that's just because they're getting so much nectar out in the wild. But this, this whole system works great. Most of the bees are in this part of the hive. And so I'll remove a few of these bars over here and as I remove the bars, you'll start to see uh, more and more comb as we get into this section of the hive. So we're just starting to get a feel right here. And they'll probably start building comb on this bar. You can see we have a little bit more here. Okay, now this has some new comb on it. And at the same time, I'll keep an eye out for the queen who is bigger than the rest of the bees and also has a white dot painted on her back. kind of building off of the bar over here, which is a little annoying. Let's see if I can push that back a little bit. I'm trying to keep the comb going along the bar, not pushing over to the right or the left. I just saw the queen, and I think she's in here looking for a white dot on the back of one of the bees. I just saw her. Oh, there she is. Okay, let's see if I can... See, she's right there. She's a little bit bigger and she's got that white painted dot. It's important to put the bars back in the order. Don't want to squish any of the bees. On this bar, it looks like I have some capped honey. Now, I'm not going to do anything with this. Uh, I have a, a friend who's a professional beekeeper, and she'll, and she'll come by next week, and, and we'll just take a look at the bees and see what's going on. But that's a better look at the comb. You can see how beautiful that is.
Okay, well that's a quick update on the hive. I know a lot of people have been wondering how the hive's doing, and, and as far as I can tell, it looks pretty good. Uh, but my friend Mary, who is a professional beekeeper, is gonna come by next week and give a, a thorough examination of the hive and tell me exactly what's going on. Uh, but I was happy to find the queen. That's always a good sign. And don't forget that uh, every week I give something from the art studio away, so if you want a chance to win something, just go to johnpeters.com, check that out. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.